good morning everyone i welcome you all to this advanced filler workshop our international faculty dr patrick trevedic pleasure to be here in india i love this country i went a lot here where are the anatomical dangers look at this livedo here forget that there were this artery in the nasolabial fold an ha embolism in our lab in paris in our and you do a layer after layer in the fall to do a safe injection we have to have the knowledge of the 3d anatomy so you remember for the forehead we have the skin and doing an injection like you see on the left side it's a patient who came to me and said to me i'm fed up with this can you do something for me can you do something for it with injection? No. And this fascial artery is deep and is going up to the nasolabial fold along the nose in the nasojugal groove here and after on the lateral side of the nose perforating the depressor supercilii to be deep, going deep here, and become superficial here. But this fascial artery can go up like this. A Berlin lift, I will do the, this area with my needle. And here, I will use with my cannula you know my injection to do my marionette line, the bone, I feel it. Some people aspirate. Some people don't aspirate. I will tell you what I think after. And I will inject here half of the syringe. It means I will inject slowly. Slowly, why? It's because of the pain. And slowly, and you need to keep the contact with the bone. It means each time, your needle try to lose the contact with the bone and so you will have to keep the contact or you will be in the muscle so each time you inject slowly 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 what is the gauge of the needle i think uh, we are using restylane lift oh, the yeah Nothing. No it's resistance. a very soft process. You see not You can go always fast for your technique, but very slow for your injection. Like this, the Lido has time to be there. The patient will put good products in a good layer. So now we'll do the forehead. So you remember my security line of the forehead will be two centimeters above my orbit margin. And I will go deep. I touch the bone here, slide on the bone, inject slowly 0 0.2. And I will do the last two points. So here, like you see, I'm going deep on the bone and go straight touch the bone and I do my injection. Normally, I don't do it now, but normally you have to turn to the lowest peak you remember of my jaw. And I will introduce my needle and I keep my needle very superficial. So here you see I'm very superficial. Short injection because I don't want to inject too much. So I inject here. 